This is Pantami and Nigeria's Terrorism Dilemma hmm. by Mark Adebayo. Anyone who supports terrorism, anyone who sees terrorism as a legitimate means, anyone who uses terrorism to cause the death of innocent people is a terrorist in my eyes. It didn't come as a surprise to keen watchers of Nigerian politics and governance for the past six years when the Buhari government came into power forcefully to defend its Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Isa Ali Patami, whose affirmation of love for terrorism and terrorists got exposed recently. Pantami did not deny his condemnable action of falling in love with the enemies of humanity. He did not deny offering himself to lead terrorist onslaught against Christians in Kaduna, Plato, Benue, and other states as the Muslim clerics in the north were not fundamentalist or extremist enough to do Allah's will of total jihad against the infidels in his absolute mindset. He did not deny that his Islamic heroes were the Osama bin Ladins, the Talibans, and the Al Qaeda's. Also, the Boko Haram's and the ISIS, which is International State of Islamic Society of this world, because to him they were the ones who actually do what Allah wants. He honed up to those assertions and more, but claimed that his opinions had changed from the from those he held a few years ago. Pantami's violent views and message. Or messages were not without victims. More revelations emerged that Sheikh Pantami, as a chief imam of the Abu Bakr Tafar Balewa University, Bauchi Mocks, is preaching directly led to the brutal murder of a 400 level student, Sunday Achi, who was the leader of the Equa Student Ministry, ESN. On the campus in 2004, the victim's father, Professor Samuel Achi confirmed that the extremist preachings of Pantami led to the murder of his son on the university's campus. The report was that the boy was dragged out of his room, taken inside the campus mosque, strangled and thrown away like a dog. Another report which the boy's dad said was not correct was that he was taken inside a bush and stoned to death. The dad said, uh, the, dad said the former account was the fact whichever the former account on what how the girl, boy got murdered he said the victim's father professor samuel Archie, confirmed that the extremist preachings of pantami led to the murder of his son on the university campus the report was that the boy was dragged out of his room taken inside the campus mocks strangled and thrown away like a dog he that said the former account was the fact whichever it happened and it has happened. The truth is that Sunday Archie was a victim of terrorist attacks within the university's campus and Pantami's name was linked to the crime as the chief instigator of North, uh, if not the child leader of the murder. Pantami has yet to deny those allegations. He is only asking for understanding. An understanding to the effect that he no longer owes those views. But who can be sure of that? Right before our eyes in Nigeria, so-called repentant terrorists have reneged and resumed their violent campaigns against Nigeria and Nigerians often after being heavily paid and pampered by the government. A recent example is Awal Daudawa, the notorious bandit terrorist who led his gang members to abduct 600 secondary school puppies from Kankara, Kassina State on December 12, 2020. Dao Dawa assured the government that he had repented of his criminal activities and was pardoned and rehabilitated into the society. He was heavily remunerated uh, or remunerated and also gifted with the house, among others. Suddenly, this week, Daily Trust reported that Dao Dawa had returned to his old criminal ways. It has often been argued that, like leopards that cannot change their skin, terrorists hardly change their ways. The USA also made the same mistake with Abu Bakr al baghdadi the late founder and leader of the Islamic State, although it was a false information that the President Barack Obama released him from Guantanamo Bay because he was never detained there in the first instance. But according to Pentagon, al baghdadi was detained by US forces in 2004 and sent to Camp Bukha prison in Iraq for anti-US militant activities. 
he was released after 10 months when he was thought no longer to be a threat a monumental error hmm. wow is a monumental error well to continue al Baghdadi, upon release immediately joined the al qaeda branch in iraq he managed to escape american intelligence radar rose to the senior position within al qaeda as the terrorist group lost many of its key leaders to american onslaught he got disillusioned with al qaeda for not going far enough in the area of islamic extremism and decided to start is in iraq which later emerged as the deadliest terrorist group in the world taking over ter territories in iraq and syria the size of france with over 8 million people under its horrific rule it attracted recruited 40,000 fighters from 120 countries including europe usa australia and so forth the isis was able to generate 81 million dollar monthly from ransoms taxes or it says human trafficking and slave trades a terrorist once caught should be eliminated not rehabilitated or pampered as it, as it is done in nigeria the general officer commanding seven division of the nigerian army meduguri major general abdu malik bulama bill drew the eye of many nigerians when he opined and opened that a repentant Boko Haram terrorist could become nigerian's president that kind of thinking at political and military leadership levels is extremely dangerous thoughtless and demonstrates ignorance of the mentality of terrorists it is a position that is too soft on of terrorism it is a position that supports and encourages terrorism expecting president muhammadu Buhari to fire pantami is expecting too much his government has a penchant for defending the bad and the ugly Buhari's president has been defending killers elders terrorism since inception and gives excuses for their bloodshed and violence which is currently threatening the corporate existence of nigeria because many nigerians especially in the south feel that the president would rather defend and protect katu and their owners at the expense of other nigerians who are at the receiving end of the killer elders violence it is the number one cause of secessionist agitations in the country today Killer headers have been declared the fourth deadliest terrorist in the world by the Global Terrorism Index. But in Nigeria, they are privileged terrorists under the current government. Moreover, the president himself once held maybe still owes those dangerous views expressed by Pantami or close to them. President Buhari is on record as saying, I will continue to show openly and inside me the total commitment to the Sharia movement that is sweeping all over Nigeria. God willing. We will not stop the agi agitation for the implementation of the Sharia in the country. He made this declaration at an Islamic seminar in Kaduna in 2021, a state where Sharia-related riots led to the killing of about 3,000 people, mostly Christians. The previous year, that was the level of insensitivity he displayed back then. Very little, if anything, has changed since then judging by his style of leadership since becoming civilian president in 2015 this same president buhari once declared that an attack on boko haram will be considered an attack on the north now why should anyone expect the president to fire pantami on the basis of terrorist views he holds or held his choice of pantami as minister was deliberate he knew about the man's terrorist pedigrees after all, a former assistant director of the Department of State Service, DSS, Dennis Amatri, declared publicly that a comprehensive security report was submitted to the presidency on Pantami to the end that he was not fit for the public office due to his avoid or avowed law for terrorism and terrorists. But that report was ignored by the president or presidency because it fitted the president's desire. It is on the basis of the above that we are stuck with this scary dilemma of having terrorist sympathizers at the helm of affairs currently in Nigeria. My take is that if we search well, we will still discover many more pantamis in Buhari's cabinet or federal government institutions appointed by this president. Nigerians have to be extremely vigilant throughout the tenure of this president and not consider what Governor Autumn of Benue State said as irrelevant. 
when he alleged that the president was working for the Fulani terrorists. The guy is just right. Hmm. Have you listened? Can you hear what Adibayo have just said concerning Buhari? What is your take? What is your opinion? Please punch on the comment section and comment. Let's share what your opinion is. Thanks for listening and God bless.